Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here, and this is a quick video about uh, maybe a quick setup about a uh, back to school uh, iPhone setup. So, um, here in Canada, uh, it's one day before back to school for a lot of people, and I decided to just uh, I decided to do a quick video about uh, a quick iPhone back to school setup apps that maybe or might help you uh, for uh, for when you go back to school. So let's begin. So the first line, of course, will be uh, your uh, text messages, the app store, of course, you download apps, settings, and the clock app, of course, to set up your alarm to wake up nice and early in the morning so you won't uh, miss the bus. C uh, Google Photos um, for when you need to upload a lot of photos that you take, of course, during school time with your friends. Uh, uh, it's a great way to save storage on your iPhone uh, since uh, Google Photos uh, uh, offers right now unlimited uploads of your photos. A studio. So if you're going to want to start a YouTube channel during school, highly recommend you guys go check out Studio. It helps you out. Um, it's by YouTube. Uh, it helps YouTubers just keep track of their uh, analytics uh, stuff. And yeah, Instagram, of course, you're going to want to, of course, Instagram a lot of stuff during the school year. So, uh, Instagram, you're going to want to have a course to follow others as well. Flipboard, just to catch up on uh, stuff on blogs, maybe that you like to enjoy to follow um, when you're on break or something. Flipboard, great app. Airmail, favorite uh, mail app for the iPhone. Uh, so, of course, if you're in college, you're probably going to get a lot of mail stuff uh, to, um, from your teachers and all that stuff. So, Airmail will be a perfect app to have. Macash, if you're an Apple fan, you're probably watching this, you're going to want to have this. Uh, just keep up with all the top Apple blogs out there to find out when, like, news about the new iPhone, the new Apple Watch, and all that stuff, or maybe new apps that you are looking for. Cincium, uh, when you want to listen to music in class, of course, um, highly don't recommend it. But if you want to uh, li listen, um, if you want a better music app than the default music app, I highly recommend you guys go check out Cesium. Uh, great app, uh, and it's just really simple to use and a lot of customization as well. Things three, uh, so this is a perfect app to have like maybe create list, uh, create um, notes, upcoming stuff that you want to have. Um, Things three is a great app to check out. AP News. So if you're uh, into news stuff, highly recommend you guys go check out AP News. Um, it's a great app, um, and it's just one of my favorite news uh, apps out there for the iPhone. Uh, today's forecast is a new weather app that just came out. Um, very simple to use. So of course you're gonna want to know how to dress the next day if you're not wearing a uniform. Of course. Uh, Today weather, you'll see the weather, how it's going to be throughout the day, so if you want to wear shorts or a sweater or something else. Fantastic Cal, uh, very uh, powerful calendar app. Um, I enjoy using this app uh, when, whenever I download it again or whenever I need to use a calendar app. I don't use the default one. I use uh, Fantastic Cal every time when I need to uh, just write down appointments or stuff that I have to get done in the future. Caster app. So when you're listening, when you're on the go on the bus, uh, or just walking to school or something, you're gonna want to have a Caster app to listen to podcasts if you're into that stuff. Um, Caster is my favorite podcast app for the iPhone. Twitter, of course, you know uh, why you're gonna want to have Twitter. Snapchat, also, you know why you're gonna want to have Snapchat because all your friends are gonna be on Snapchat as well. Halid, if I'm pronouncing it right, is a great camera app. So to <coughs> to uh, get uh, perfect shots with your iPhone and to document uh, your school year. Next, uh, uh, we have here, uh, these are just random apps on my folder course. Um, for photo app, you're going to want Visco to maybe add filters to your photo and uh, maybe fix them up to make them look good for Instagram. Boomerang to create some cool uh, GIFs or GIFs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, uh, Ollie to create some cool uh, photos with oil painting for your Instagram photos as well. Pedometer, just to keep track of how many steps you take because in school year we pretty much sit down a lot in chairs the whole day. You're going to want to take steps, uh, of course, to stay nice and healthy. 
and cardiogram. So if you have an Apple Watch, you're gonna to wanna to keep track of your heart rate, of course, uh, just to stay relaxed and cool, and just keep track of your health during the school year as well. So that's pretty much it, a simple, oh, before I forget, the widget area course. So for widget, you're gonna to wanna to have carrot weather, of course, to check uh, quickly the weather if you want if you just want to see how fat, uh, how how the weather is going to be uh, throughout the day uh, fantastical's widget which is my favorite one right now uh, it's really nicely designed and it shows you of course what you have to do next things three as well uh, the calendar app by Couchy so you're going to want to watch the TV shows are going to be coming back in September so you're going to want to keep track of all the good TV shows that are going to be coming back with Couchy and then PCAL, so if you're going to need a calculator app, I highly recommend you guys to check PCAL. Uh, really powerful calculator as well. Pedometer, of course, quickly check your steps and the battery widget from Apple uh, to check uh, your Apple Watch, your iPhone battery, or your Beats or other headphones uh, stuff as well. So yeah, that's a quickly back to school setup for your iPhone. Um, if you, uh, I'll add the uh, I'll add the app li uh, apps that I just talked about in the description below so you guys go check them out, and I will see you guys later. Peace.